Welcome back, everyone. 922, you're looking at an electric vehicle. They have exploded in popularity in recent years, but a new type of eco-friendly vehicle is in the works. Aptera says it's working on a solar-powered car that wouldn't require a lot of charging every day. Very interesting, right? So joining us now to talk more about this is the CEO, Steve Fambro. Good morning to you, Steve. Nice to have you on this morning. Hey, good morning, and it's uh, nice to join you. Okay, so solar cars. I don't know too much about these. Tell me, what makes them different than the EVs that we're used to seeing? Well, it starts at the top, the very reason our company exists, and that's to make every journey powered by the sun. So when you have that as a belief uh, from the senior management on down, then you end up designing products that are lightweight and efficient and able to be solar powered. You couldn't make a regular electric vehicle solar powered because they're mm -hmm. too heavy and they're too inefficient. Okay, I'm looking at them. What, it's such an interesting concept. Okay, let's get to these two things. Tell me how it works, how does it charge, and the cost, if you can give me those answers in, those, uh, direct, in that direction. Well, you plug it in if you want, like a normal electric vehicle, but most people will be able to charge up to 40 miles a day just from parking it in the sun. So mm -hmm. that's about the average commute of most Americans. So most Americans just won't have to plug it in at all. Uh, but you can plug it in like a normal car, you'll be able to go to the Tesla supercharger or any other regular EV charging station. Okay, so um, there's, a, go there's ahead. a wide range of prices. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the, the most optioned up one is around $50,000. Uh, the most popular with all the roughly 40,000 or so pre-orders that we have, mm -hmm. I think is optioned around $38,000. Wow, okay. So let's talk about the drawbacks because we have to have both sides here. I'm told they can include the cost, uh, the limited range, the battery life, and in some cases, decreased performance has been a complaint overall. So my question to you is, why buy one of these? Um, is it just about reducing the carbon footprint? And if you live in a city like Chicago, you don't get a lot of sunshine. How effective are they for you? Well, this vehicle, the one you're looking at right now, the launch edition, uh, is going to have about 400 miles of range. So 400 miles is an awful lot of range for an electric vehicle. And so most people aren't going to be worried about you know, range anxiety or things like that. Um, and even in places like Chicago, uh, over the year, you might not get 11 or 12,000 miles charged. You might get seven or 6,000 miles charged. That's still a lot of free miles. So mm -hmm. it's going to be less time at the gas station, less dependent on oil and energy from places around the world that we don't like and more about keeping everything local in this country. So when can people start actually seeing these solar powered cars on the roads and when can when do you think people will start buying them? We start production later this year. Okay and so again you gave me an interesting price range. Uh, in the reality is this kind of a, something you want to have as a second vehicle um, because of the fact that you know it's solar powered and I love the fact that you said you could still plug it in as well but is this something that people might consider as a second vehicle to maybe tool around town? What would you say to that? It depends on your use case. You know, myself as a family, we have a, a plug-in hybrid SUV because when we got to take five kids around somewhere and luggage, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you need something like that. But for the parent or the single person that commutes every day, uh, this is a great vehicle for them because they can drive on the highway with confidence. They can drive at the same speed, pass people if they want. It's very aggressive performance, and it's going to cost them virtually nothing to do so because their commute is going to be powered by the sun. Boy, I can bet you anything, once they finally are out on the road, you guys are getting a lot of reaction because they are very unusual and kind of cool looking. Thank you so much, Steve, for sharing this information hey. with us. You take care. You too. My pleasure. Okay. Let's